Hey everybody, it is Zapiorfis, and we are doing something a little bit different today. We are not doing live commentary. In fact, this is uh, the, the video footage was recorded, oh, a while ago, and I tried doing live commentary with this game, and it just did not work. It, it did not, there was too much um, empty space, there was too much just walking across fields, and <laughs> nothing coming from it, so... Um, <clears throat> this is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Zelda is one of my f favorite games, uh, favorite game series of, of all time, but, um, I could not get into this game when it came out. <laughs> For a number of reasons, um, but long story short, I never, I never played this game. So here we are, five years later, and finally playing through Breath of the Wild. And I've got to say, I do not know why I waited so long. This game is fabulous. I think at the time. This game came out. I was kind of <coughs> excuse me. I was getting over. Er, I, I'm sorry. I was I was over open world RPGs, and then here here comes Nintendo. Not only did they kibosh the Wii U and released a new system, they turned my favorite game series into an open world RPG. So that was maybe not what I wanted. Now we got a Sheikah Slate. Uh, Oh, I, I should mention now, we are playing this on the Wii U, so maybe the quality is not as good as it would be on the Switch, but I wasn't going to fork over 80 more dollars and buy another copy of a game that I didn't even know if I liked, so old shirt, open inventory. As you can see, it's on the Wii U. Um, I like a lot about this game, and we'll kind of talk about it as we're going. I like the sound effects. I like that they're a different key, like the do 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 do. It's not like that. It's do 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 do. You know, it's just a quiet little. I'm trying to push a box here for for some reason. Okay. <laughs> that, okay, we'll take it. Um, Hold the slate up to the I castle. like the graphics. I like that it's kind of a combination of everything that's ever been good about Zelda. So the cartoony look of Wind Waker mixed with the realism, like the, uh, I, I guess Skyward Sword is the best way to put it. It's like a better Skyward Sword. It's, it's good. <laughs> So, now that our little tutorial dungeon is over, we are now stepping forth into the vast land of Hyrule. You are the light. I'm our the light. light. Their light. You must shine upon Hyrule once again. Yeah. Now go. So, my plan for this game, as of uh, the recording of the commentary, uh, I'm about halfway through the main story of this game. So... What I want to do, I, I was thinking about doing a full heart container run, but I don't know if I'm going to commit to that or not now, so, um, I 
long story short, I might just do the story. Well, no, I, I, what I've been doing is I've been getting, uh, I've been doing shrines so that I can get a full stamina bar. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not going to do a 100% run, but we're going to do more than a minimalist run, if that makes any sense. So, my plan for this series is we're going to run through Breath of the Wild. We're going to run through Age of Calamity, which is a spin-off slash prequel slash alternate universe kind of game. And then I'm hoping by the time that's all done and completed, uh, the sequel to this game will come out. Which was delayed. It was supposed to come out at Christmas time, 2022, but it is now coming out in the spring of 2023, so... Um... Hopefully, we can do. We can get through Breath of the Wild, Age of Calamity, and then whatever the sequel is called. As of this recording, it is not known what the sequel is going to be titled. And as you can tell, I'm not really reading anything or running through this. I'm trying uh, to pause the dialogue and stuff uh, as I'm playing the game. So if you want to follow along with the story, you can. Um... Oh, uh, that, that's the other thing I wanted to bring up was I really like Hyrule in this game. Hyrule is beautiful. Hyrule is... Uh, how, how, how do I want to put it? It reminds me of Fallout. Fallout 3, where an end of the world event has happened and society as a whole is rebuilding itself. So, Spoilers for like 10 minutes into this video. <laughs> They're going to explain this, but um, basically an event called The Calamity Happens. Where Ganon basically shows up, takes control of their fleet of giant robots, and turns them on Hyrule and the Hylian army. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. And then... Wins. <laughs> Get Ganon wins. And I like that... Um, we've never really explored a... Zelda game where... We lose. There was the timeline when Hyrule Historia, the book, came out. And there was that third branch of the timeline where... <laughs> Uh, the thing that nobody considered before was that the hero of time would lose to Ganon, and that set off the third branch of the timeline, but they never showed it ex like to us, so I like that this game is they showed you, oh look, we lost, and now we have to win. I just shattered a pot with my foot. <laughs> Dropped it? No, this worked out nicely because I like to play through um, Nintendo games during the summertime. And I, I, like I said, I never really played through this game. So I figured, hey, let's do Breath of the Wild. And then, <laughs> unfortunately, I got sick. And was out for about a week. Um, if you've been alive for, for the past couple of years, you probably know what I got sick from. Oh yeah, uh, there, there's going to be random cuts in this video. 
the cuts are me cutting out irrelevant stuff. I'm trying to keep in a lot of the combat. I, I, I'm trying to keep in things that are relevant to <laughs> the story I'm trying to tell. And me running around the Temple of Time for 20 minutes isn't part of the story I want to tell, so... Anyways, I got sick and was out for a week. <clears throat> so if my voice is foggy, froggy, whatever, uh, that's, that's why. Um, so I actually got a lot of video footage recorded in that week, so I'm actually quite happy about that. So here we are activating, um, the first tower in the game, which activates the rest of the towers, so... Towers act as your map for the certain region or the province or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of funny playing this game on the Wii U because this game was supposed to be on the Wii U. It was a launch title for the Switch. And if you play it on the Wii U, you can definitely tell that they optimized it for the Switch because my Wii U is struggling every time I play this game. Every single time. Um, it's just kind of funny because that was the like a uh, uh, Twilight Princess was a launch title for the Wii, but also. It also came out on the GameCube. And playing through Twilight Princess on the GameCube uh, does not make the system have a heart attack each time you do anything. This game struggles in certain uh, places. but Overall, it's a pretty good experience, I think. I am looking forward to the like real HD graphics that Breath, uh, Age of Calamity is it going to bring to the table? Because yes, the Wii U was in HD, but I would say that there's a contrast between the Switch and the Wii U's HD capabilities. Just with new hardware and such, right? So basically, we unlocked every tower in the world. For the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Yeah. <laughs> the beast. I'm a now beast. Then. You must hurry, Link. Says who? I don't have to do anything. Before it's too late. It's already too late. <clears throat> Follow the Sheikah Slate. Complete. Excellent. So here's the map of the Great Plateau. I'm just walking in circles apparently. Oh, I'm trying to find out how to get down. I see. I guess I could have cut this out. Why did I leave it in? <laughs> oh, okay. Well. Here you have me jumping from platform to platform. Oh! 
Oh, I'm an old man and I'm flying around. <laughs> So yeah, we are just, uh, like I said, <clears throat> doing post-commentary, and we are playing Breath of the Wild. Mm. Hour-long episodes. <laughs> Woohoo! I love doing hour-long episodes. That's the only way, unless, like, if I did half-hour-long episodes of this series this this the series would be probably like 50 well hold on now it would it would be a long series <laughs> i think this is like a 50 or 60 hour game so the fact that i'm doing hour long episodes and i'm i'm 10 parts into Filming and I'm halfway. <sighs> but <laughs> the 10 hours of video you see, there was probably. So this video in particular, this hour is what, an hour, just over an hour. This video was. Probably three hours worth of content that I cut down to an hour. And I've been doing that basically throughout the whole series that I've been editing. I haven't had this good at editing workout in a very long time. So, I was originally <laughs> going to call this uh, Breath of the Wild Definitive Edition, but I realized that I had... I would have to know a lot more about this game to do a definitive edition, so. Um, the music in this game is very beautiful also. So he's explaining shrines. In this Zelda game, shrines take the place of dungeons. <laughs> Sort of. There are probably four or five dungeons in this game um, that I would call real dungeons. Traditional Zelda dungeons. The shrines are little puzzles. Little puzzle tests. Like, uh, they remind me of Portal, to be completely honest with you. Um... <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could have cut out walking to the first shrine. I just wanted some content, you know? I didn't want the boring content, but what can I say about this? I'm walking to the shrine. Oh man, ow. <laughs> oh man, ow! I don't know why I tried to do that. <laughs> I've also cut out I want to say all, but I'm going to say most of the loading screens. And also, I don't skip this stupid cutscene uh, in the first little bit here, so unfortunately, you're going to have to watch it play out. I'm sorry about it. Do they ever explain who these people, like, who is Old Man Owl? Old Man O? Omen O. Where's the water coming from? Ah, 
I have a lot of questions. I don't know what to do in this room, apparently. Yeah, swinging your sword at it is going to help. Oh, I, I have a very hard time with the controls on the menus to start. I have no idea what I'm doing. And it shows. <laughs> I didn't mean to crouch there and it gave me a stealth tutorial. Dude, you're looking right at where you have to go. There you go. Look at you learning, figuring stuff out. You're the hero we need to save Hyrule. Clearly. And this is the... And then you get it. And instead of going... Dun, 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 dun. It's <laughs> a low-key, um, distant piano noise. Alright, so now we got Magnesis, which means we can throw metal around, so that is exactly what I'm about to do. Can't magnet things when you're on them, you dumb dumb. Oh, there's the water. It was underground. I see, I see. Um, what do I feel about the shrines in this game? I think the shrines are a nice change of pace. But I wish there would have been more actual dungeons in the game also. You can jump in this game. Which is weird for a Zelda. Get him. Kill him. Destroy him. Do it. Beat him with the block. <laughs> I also like that there's many solutions to certain puzzles in this game. We just beat a robot to death with a metal block because we could. There's 120 shrines in this game. Oh, we just skipped the, uh, the, the treasure chest entirely. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> probably would have helped. Probably would have been a helpful in-game item early on. Or maybe it was just like a, a moblin horn or something. Who knows? Oh, that's Omen Owl. What are they? They're Sheikah. They're, they're dead. Monk. <laughs> and then because I've solved their puzzle, they can just go away. Spirit orbs. So you need uh, spirit orbs to get heart pieces or heart containers and stamina vessels.
Dun, 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 dun. Bye. Who was that guy? No, the old man interrupts us again to tell us to do more stupid things for him. <laughs> Clairvoyance. He's clairvoyant. So anyways, <laughs> dialogue and such. Exposition. So we had to bring him three more uh, spirit orbs. From three more shrines. <sighs> Got it. So, I think I cut it right away here, but instead of listening to what he says, he tells me to teleport back to the tower. <clears throat> I don't do that. I run back to the tower and then climb it manually. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we cut it to when we got to the top of the tower. And then he insults me for not listening to what he had to say. I think I answer honestly. I think I say, "Yep, I forgot." <laughs> because, in all honesty, I did completely forget. Skull of and pins. So basically, you can zoom in and you can pin stuff to your map by looking at it. I like the sunset effects in this game too. You know when you play like Ocarina of Time for the first time and you're playing it and you, you know you're playing something special? That's how I feel about this game. Like, hype aside, uh, I first played Ocarina of Time probably about nine years ago on the 3DS. Oh, I had to get chased by bats here. Um, and I knew about the hype for the game. I'd seen videos on the game at the time, but, uh, you know, I played through it and I knew that it was a special game and that's how i feel about this game hype aside you know screw what everybody else says about this game i'm playing through it and i know for a fact it's special and this is our first guardian encounter <clears throat> i don't like the guardians they are rude and mean And there's more than, or maybe there's only one here. I, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, there's 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 like two or three or four. There's a lot. You can't do that. You you, you still can't do that.
Jabbage. Jabbage. Oh, I skipped that one. I don't skip coming down. Oh, no, I do too. Excellent. Bomb trial. So, we get bombs here. This is an interesting Zelda game too in that you don't get classical items. Like, traditional Zelda, you'd start your adventure, go to a dungeon, get an item in the dungeon that helps you get through the second half of the dungeon, beat the boss using the new item you just got, then you're free to explore the world and there are heart pieces and items that open up now that you have item the, uh, the item from the dungeon and then you go to the next dungeon you progress through it you get a new item you use that item to progress through the second half of the dungeon and then you beat the boss using that item and that is the Zelda cycle that was the formula. This game, there are no dungeons, no items, and <laughs> no patterns, no heart pieces. Yep. There's just Link, his Sheikah Stone tablet. And the rest of the world. This is where I almost kill myself. This is really dumb. This is hilarious. Like, what was I expecting to happen there? Why did I do that? Stupid. Bombs explode. And you know what? That's not even the last time that happens in this series. It happens, unfortunately... Regularly. Which makes me sad to say. I have a hard time with the jumping and the running mechanics in this game at the start. So, it's a physics puzzle. And I won. <laughs> Didn't quite roll as far as I wanted, but that's okay. The initial uh, three, sh uh, four rather, shrines in this game are actually pretty easy. They're tutorial shrines to teach you how to use your items and abilities. You can do it! Yay! I thought I was going to die from landing like that, but alas I did not. Amber, ooh wee. And that's it. That's all she wrote, fellas. I don't know why I kept this in the video. <laughs> Show the spirit orb, I guess. I, I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. That audio cue almost sounds like the victory theme in Final Fantasy. Dun, 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 you know? 
Okay, so I see now that there's a ton of cuts in this video, <laughs> so I don't remember exactly what we did here, so let us watch. So we're getting chased by skeletons. Are these stealthos in this game? I'm... I think so. I did it. Oh, and here we have cooking, so... Oh, that's what all the cutting is, is the cooking. <clears throat> in this game, you can cook food. You can't just find hearts in the grass. You have to actually either take potions or elixirs or cook your own food. So by cooking just a single apple. Oh, that was just a pepper. I'm sorry. The saute, the spicy peppers give you heat resistance. Er, cold resistance rather. So that one gave it for 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> And healed like six hearts. Mushrooms. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom skewer. Mushroom skewers only heal two. <laughs> I guess it depends on the type of mushrooms you use. This is the cooking part of the episode. Cooking with Link. Oh, omelet. <laughs> Made an omelet. Oh, and when that tune makes, uh, it's, it's, it's a good recipe you did. Then I throw this barrel for some reason. <laughs> and it's gone forever. So, in order to not get damaged by the cold, you have to eat either hot food or wear hot clothing. So, as you can see in the top left now, there's cold resistance. So, you used it to get to the shrine, but it, other than that, it was a waste. Oh, a dame shrine. Sorry, I, I had mistaken. But that's okay, because we have that 12 and a half minute one that we'll use. Alright, the stasis trial. Stasis is my least favorite and least used skill. I also like the Sheikah eye on the tip of every computerized rock. <laughs> I don't know what else you'd call it. Nice timing. This dungeon is actually pretty straightforward also. Shrine, sorry, the shrine. Sledgehammer. The sledgehammer is for pounding this rock. Do it! Go! 
Yeah! Some of the hidden chests in these shrines are very easy to get, and some of them are impossible to get. But then you watch a two second or two minute YouTube video and it's like, oh, duh. I mean, I haven't done that. Yeah, no, that doesn't work either, Link. Freeze time. We did it. But then I'm like, wait. There has to be a way to get that. No, wait. I'm sorry. We just got the treasure chest. Skip it. Skip the dialogue. Do it. Excellent. One more. So then I have to eat more spicy food. And we traverse the mountaintops. <laughs> I like how he smacks his belly, like, yeah! Wow, I couldn't imagine only playing this game with one stamina bar. Even adding just one extra stamina upgrade changes a huge part of the game. Walking in a winter wonderland. I think I decided to kill these pigs. Sent them flying. You know what they say when pigs burn. I don't actually know anyone who's actually said that. I, I just was saying something stupid to say something. A bocobo? Not a chocobo. No, no. A bocobo. And five arrows. So now here we are at the shrine and it took six minutes. Oh. Well, that was rude. So I don't showcase it here because I don't know, but if you throw your damaged um, weapon at an enemy, it'll do a critical hit. If you don't throw it at an enemy, it'll break. Like it just did. That pig was sad. Wow, all of those pigs were sad, okay. An apple? A boko bo- a uh, club, rather. So now, here we are. At the final shrine, the Kenamut shrine. Or the Kenamut. It's like Dag Nabbit. Kenabbit. <laughs> Go in. Do it. This is the last time. Cryonis trial. This is the one where you have to freeze. Yeah. 
We unlocked Cryonis. And now we must try to attempt the shrine. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it in. I'm sorry that I don't have much to say about this. I'm basically just going through the shrine. I'm gonna fight this little robot now. He pulls out a sword. Or no, he has his laser. Whoa, that was a close one. That was very close indeed. Indubitably. The Traveler's Spear. <clears throat> Do I whip a sword at him? Whoa, I almost died again. Kill it. Own it. Love it. Bye. Excellent. We did it. With a moblin arm. <laughs> of all things. I guess it could have been a tree branch. Okay. We did it. We saved the world. Freeze. <laughs> just completely forgot to jump or didn't know I could hmm maybe that was it no you don't want to go over there you dumb dumb that's where you came from why are we doing this you don't want to go over there link turn around and go back up thanks Uh, never mind. I'm sure there was a treasure back there too if I had put the um, the slant up the other way to the left instead of to the right. But oh well, like I said, probably didn't matter in the grand scheme of things, anyways. So that was it. That's that's our last uh, orb. And then the old man comes back and he's like, "Yo, what up?" So then he tells us we have to go back to the Temple of Time.
So yeah, we basically get all of the Great Plateau done in one hour long video. Oh yeah, look, hey, we're at the Temple of Time now, excellent. Yeah, uh, that, that was my goal with this one, is I wanted to get the tutorial section out of the way. And then in video two, we can jump right into Kakariko. So then I get another heart. And initially I'm just alternating between heart uh, containers and stamina. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Then the old man's like, yo, bitch, get over here. So we're like, okay. There's the old man saying, yo, bitch, get over here. He could have, you know, warned us beforehand to go up there. I hate when other characters just completely uh, fail to give the main character any information as to what's going on about their own life. He's about to give me all the information about my own life, but I was just thinking about Harry Potter, how, how many crises in Harry Potter series could have been avoided if one of the mature, you know, supposedly mature adults in the situation had been like, yo. Harry, Voldemort wants to kill you and is probably going to try and entice you. Don't do that. Or, Harry, the Triwizard Tournament, if your name is in the goblet and you didn't put it there, that wasn't, it's probably Voldemort. Anyways, I'm going to shut up for a while. I was... The last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight 
chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Well, I don't particularly like having the fate of an entire country um, resting with uh, um, uh, me. <laughs> it's actually not something I am into. Princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. It was Jerry, but Jerry's that dead. Was none other <laughs> so now we have to use you. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. Here I am. The guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. What? Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Well, that's not good. That I could not save my own kingdom. I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. Do what I could not. You must save her. It's actually quite sad. And do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Excellent. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest but you could. that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Well, we got the paraglider. Finally. Now we can leave this godforsaken rock. The isolated plateau. We can leave it. The paraglider is kind of like the, if you played Wind Waker, uh, the Deku Leaf. 
and if you've played Skyward Sword, the sailcloth. Only you can't move with the sailcloth. You can just cushion your fall. <clears throat> I like that. Main quest, destroy Ganon. That is our objective. But we're not going to do that. We're going to seek out Impa instead. So We're just basically going to follow that yellow dot on the map. Way over there. And we find a tower along the way. <laughs> I like that transition. <laughs> I flew all the way to the bridge. I think we talked to this guy. Ah, uh, there's a guy on a bridge. Where is he? And I think all he has to say is he, he gives us some more exposition about uh, the Guardians. We're doomed. <laughs> I mean, don't panic. I mean, sorry, who are you? Have we met? <laughs> I was getting tired of talking to myself. I'm not talking about the mushrooms. This guy's kind of funny. I saw a video, you can find it on YouTube. Uh, if you try and jump off the bridge, he stops you from killing yourself. Which is nice. You should do that if someone's trying to kill themselves by jumping off a bridge. You should try and not let them jump off the bridge. <laughs> Those things, they don't move yet, but they, they do, they will. Yes, it was your lightning fast speed that saved you. So then we make our way over to the tower. And we get the map for this section of the of the region. And then it, uh, yeah, downloads it to our map. Da -da -da. And, like, uh, going from the plateau to Kakariko Village, that's your first indication of just how large this game actually is. And the answer is, it's quite frickin' large, man. It's huge. And with that, we make our way to Kakariko Village by following the map. And... I think, for the most part... That's it for the video. What do we get here? Topaz? Damn. <clears throat> Kakariko Village. Here we are. It's a nice little village. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Just like in other Zelda games, it's kind of like your hub more or less. Huh. 
<laughs> Do you need something? I haven't seen you around here before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Oh, oh yes, I remember now. It was long ago when the calamity hit, but you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. That was me. Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from the way back when? <laughs> ha ha ha. Young people these days sure do like their jokes. If you really were that noble swordsman, you'd have the legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. You see, the thing about that swordsman is, he trades with swift carrots instead of a blade. He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with sweet aroma of swift carrots too. That's what my grandfather used to say anyway. So I suggest you stop joking around all the time and instead have a carrot and try to be more like that swordsman. And on that note, that has been the first episode of Breath of the Wild. I've been Zabby Orvis, and we will see you guys in the next one.